Whether you're in a business meeting or doing your elevator pitch, you have just seconds to make an impression that sets the tone for everything that happens next. But here's the problem, because you might be the most skilled, experienced and qualified person in the room. But if you can't convey that in an instant, you risk being overlooked and ignored. So whether you want to secure a meeting or close the sale, in this video, I'm going to show you a really simple yet powerful body language trick that will instantly help you engage and be seen as both confident and credible. It's no secret that people who know how to use non-verbal cues correctly to create engagement are seen as more credible and are therefore more successful. So there is a huge advantage to understanding what messages you are giving out, but then having the ability to adapt that message to influence how the other person sees you. We connect with people in so many ways, but the most effective way that you have to connect with somebody else is through your body language. So let me give you one powerful non-verbal trick that you can use in any situation. It's called forward engagement or forward facing, but I suppose in simple terms, it's simply called the power of leaning in. So let me start off by asking you a question. Okay, when do you naturally lean in? I suspect it's maybe when you're doing things like you're gonna give somebody a hug or maybe you're gonna give them a kiss. Maybe you're sharing a secret with somebody or it could be when you're just simply intrigued by something and you want to find out more. Well, leaning in signals to the other person, the person that you're talking to that you know, you're fully present and you're fully invested and engaged in what they're saying. It's like saying, you know, I'm here, I'm interested, and I'm going to give you all of my attention. In essence, it makes the other person feel valued and important. I think it's safe to say that if you're a confident person, leaning in becomes quite natural, especially if you're the confident extrovert. But when you lack self-confidence or you feel a little bit out of your depth, coupled with any of the more introverted mannerisms, well, the other person doesn't feel a connection and they don't build the engagements needed to take the conversation further. So let's look at this video clip where we've got a small group gathering for a casual selfie. Now it's a small everyday moment that can happen in the office, out networking, or even when you're out socially. But what's happening here reveals so much about how we connect, or more importantly, how we miss the opportunity to connect. Focus on the woman on the right wearing a black jumper. Now notice her body language as the selfie has been taken. She leans in just slightly and quite tentatively. This moment shows that she wants to be part of the group, but she isn't fully confident in her place within it. And then, almost immediately after the photo is taken, she steps back. This small retreat is more than just a physical action. It reflects her discomfort and signals that she's not entirely sure that she belongs. What we're seeing here is a moment of hesitation. By leaning in, she's trying to engage and signal that she's part of the team. But by stepping back too soon, she is unintentionally sending a different message. And that's the message that says she feels like an outsider or that she's unsure of her role in this social interaction. This kind of body language creates a perception, not just in the individual, but the group as well. Because for others, her quick withdrawal may lead them to view her as more casual acquaintance rather than a close colleague or a potential business contact. And over time, it's these small actions as they compound, they create a sense of separation that both she and the group will feel, even though it's quite unintentional. So when you lean in to join a group or an interaction, it's really important to hold that position and stay engaged, both physically and mentally. Leaning in creates an opportunity for connection, but stepping back too soon can undermine your intention and create distance instead of rapport. Your body language delivers way more of your message than anything you can say. So before we can even start looking at the content of your pitch, and I'm going to do that in a future video, I want to start by implementing as many non-verbal hacks as we can. But it's important that you build on these hacks slowly. It's important that you learn one, implement it, make it habit. Learn one, implement it, make it habit. So I'm going to be delivering more of my hacks in my next video. So maybe this is a good time to subscribe and hit that notification bell because if you want to learn all of these hacks, you want to be notified when all of my videos come out. So let's look at some videos and explain all the things that you need to do and everything you need to avoid. Okay, so in this first video clip, we've got a very stereotypical boardroom setup with the presenter at the head of the table. 
but look closely at what she's doing. Rather than standing rigidly and delivering her points, she's leaning in towards her audience. But this isn't just a casual movement, it's more of a deliberate and powerful signal. Because when she leans in, she's subconsciously telling the people around the table, I'm here with you and I'm invested in what we are doing together. This posture makes the entire interaction feel so much more collaborative. It's less like a one-way presentation and far more like a shared conversation. But notice also how the audience is leaning slightly towards her with engaged expressions and they've got focused eyes. They aren't just listening, they're connecting. And that's because leaning in signals openness, interest, and a genuine desire to connect. And it's this small action that transforms the tone from a formal presentation to a dynamic conversation. By making this one simple shift in her body language, she's inviting the group to join her in the discussion instead of simply speaking at them. This subtle yet impactful action will help you build stronger rapport and ensure that people are engaged in what you have to say. So let's have a look at this clip. Now we've got a group of people gathered around a table and they're clearly engaged in discussing a project or whatever the word may be. But you can see that most of them are leaning in, pointing towards the plans and actively engaging in ideas. Their body language shows a shared interest. They want to see more, contribute and be part of the solution. But let's focus on the lady on the left with the short blonde hair and the glasses. You'll notice how she's standing upright, arms are by her side, and she's not leaning in or making any visible gestures of engagement. What's happening here is a clear contrast between two sets of body language. When the rest of the group lean forward, they're all signaling involvement and enthusiasm for the project. But in contrast, her upright, distant posture communicates disengagement, hesitation, or even detachment. It suggests that she might not feel part of the group or that she's not confident in her contributions or maybe she simply isn't interested in what's being discussed. Your body language in meetings or group discussions speaks volumes even when you're not saying a word because when you lean in and physically engage with the group, you're sending a message that you're part of the conversation, that you care and that your voice matters. But in contrast to that, when you lack the body language, you're actually unintentionally creating this sense of isolation and that makes others perceive you as either disconnected or indifferent. Remember that leaning in works when you're sitting down, when you're standing up, it works great on the video call, but it can even work when you're on the telephone. Of course, the other person can't see you, but they will always be able to just feel it and sense it. They'll know whether you're leaning in and engaged or leaning back and being disengaged. So if you wanna make sure your next interaction leaves a lasting impression, Learn how to lean in, show that interest, and you'll see just how quickly the dynamics change. Having charisma and confidence isn't about being the loudest person in the room. It's about how you show up both verbally and non-verbally. And if you want to learn more, don't forget to subscribe so we can start building your self-confidence together.